Chapter 3, The Abducted Princess. Let's go find Princess Minerva, the Macedonian mountain rampart. Once upon a time, the region of Macedon was a territory under Dol Dolrian rule. A century ago, the dragonkin rulers sent many slaves to these wild forests to excavate ruins and build a country. Many slaves were forced to work to their limits, barely fed, and then slaughtered. Fuck. A young man stood up against such tragic conditions. Iote was his name. He and his companions fled to the forests and fought, astride wyverns to free the slaves. Yeah, I recognize that name from the last game. I believe it got his shield. That's the one that protects you from uh, arrows. After Dolor's demise, the slaves established their own country in these new up uh, in these now abundant lands. And the Hero Ayote was chosen as their first king. And so was born the Kingdom of Macedon, later feared as the domain of Draconites. Yeah, they suck to fight. However, the mighty Macedon was stripped of Prince Michalis said to be the second coming of Aote, and in now is now on the brink of losing Princess Minerva, the so-called Crimson Dragoon. Yeah, we don't want to lose her again. It was tragic last time. I wonder how my sister is doing. I remember she was the one who was able to use the Resurrection Staff. Huh. Yeah. You fight it with a sword, Serana. I see you train without the need for sleep. Most admirable, Serana. Ah, Sir Jagan. A strong offense and a tough defense are obviously important, but you cannot you cannot afford to neglect your skill. That is true. Can't hit, or it doesn't matter what your strength is if you can't hit. Without the skill to deliver it, it matters not how mighty your attack is if it does not reach the enemy. Thank you, Jagan. Wise words. Speaking of which. Your skill is not bad. Don't fall behind the other knights. I wonder if that's judging what my actual stats are at the moment. Or if that's what he says regardless. The experience you gain from training in combat will help elevate your skill further. Be ever diligent. Yes, Sir Chagan. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to everybody. Who actually first... Let's go to the house, everyone. I hunted something near here, so my skills wouldn't grow dull. 25 experience, nice. I feel awesome today. Come at me, bros. Yahoo! <laughs> oh, temporary increase is always nice. I feel more energetic than usual. I mustn't let this energy go to waste. Ooh, magic and defense. Well, I mean, the magic is useless for her, but the defense is nice. I picked up something weird. I should report it. A quick axe. Oh, right. Today I'm more fired up than ever. Cecile, you're always fired up. I'm almost scared of how fired up you are now. That reminds me, um... Well, no one's holding at the moment, but, um... Last time, besides the energy drink, um, I got this tome called Ember, a failed fire tome with no use in combat. Yeah, one might. Really weak. I wonder if I should just sell it. Only 15 uses. It does have 100 hit, though. But, um, so does fire. So... Truly a useless tome. Didn't I get some like boolean or something last time as well? Oh yeah, no Sferatu. Powerful magic that drains enemy HP for women only. Sweet. And then aura as well. That's right, I just got you. I finally get to use you. It'll be glorious. Alright, um, I believe I had some bullying somewhere around here. 
Maybe it's in my in my convoy? No. Maybe I'm getting the two games I'm playing at the moment mixed up. Alright, well, let's now talk. Ooh, four of them, nice. Luke and Serana won. Yo, Serana the Ordinary. God damn it, Luke. Hmm? Are you training alone? Yes, it's pretty much a habit by now. Man, you're pretty crazy. You're already so skilled. I'm sure you can afford to take a breather. No, I can't. Gotta keep yourself in shape. I'd die of shame if I failed to protect Prince Marth because I lacked skill. I see. You do have a point. All right. Then, Serana the Ordinary, duel with me. Oh? What's gotten into you all of a sudden? I agree, Serana. I'll train along with you. We'll have a competition to see who finishes first. <laughs> Luke does have a somewhat endearing personality, even if he's uh, quite rambunctious. Are you alright? I thought you hated training. Looking at you, I figured I just couldn't allow myself to stay in your shadow. I'm Prince Marth's knight too. For his sake, I'll become much stronger. I see. Luke, my opinion of you, opinion of you has slightly risen now. <laughs> that's, uh... That's uh, almost a bad kind of compliment. Heh. <laughs> Serana the Ordinary, don't fall in love with me. Don't worry, uh, Luke, I... Don't imagine you have to worry about that too much. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Damn. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, poor Luke. Love struck, but we'll... He'll find someone for you. Ryan and Serrano, number one. Oh, right. You're Sir, uh, you're Sir G Gordon's little brother, aren't you, Ryan? Yes, he is. Yes. I signed up to become a knight because I wanted to be like brother. I remember you met every now I remember you met every now and then during our apprentice days. I thought it was nice you had someone else, someone to, someone close to you. Don't you have siblings, Serana? No, no, do I? Well, no. That's why I'm a little more envious. What's it like having someone close to you who's around the same age? I don't know, Gordon looks like he's quite a few years older actually. I guess at least five. Hmm. Well, my brother's always been in my life, so it's hard to describe it. Oh, but whenever I argued with my parents or friends, I liked it when brother stuck up for me. T. <laughs> Sounds like a nice family. I see. So you quarrel too, Ryan? N not anymore, though. Hmm. Hopefully they both survive. Current status, Chapter 3. We made it through the bordering forest. At least, or, or at last, it is time to quell the Macedonian Rebellion and rescue Princess Minerva. But that aside, I do wonder why Princess Nina entrusted Prince Morph with the Fire Emblem. Honestly, I'm just happy to have the, uh, have Linda back. Sorry, Serana. I love you as a main character and all, but... Uh, Linda is... Holds a special place for me. The emblem is to be given to one who fights in the name of justice, in the name of House Arcania. I think she recognizes the problem with Hardin at the moment. Who knows, maybe she's under house arrest. Hardin should have delivered peace to Arcania. Pointing Lang as commander, and now this drama? Just what has happened to Hardin? Hmm. It's hard to say. Though I suppose it's possible he's under duress. Oh well. Prince Marth said he'd go see the princess once this battle was over. Everything will become clear once the time comes. But now, we must focus on quelling the rebellion in Macedon. Gotta rescue Princess Minerva. Julian and Lena. Sire, according to the intel from our scouts, this will be the next battlefield. That's a lot of villages. We have to fight to prevent the villagers from being harmed by rogues. Is Julian gonna be there? That reminds me. I believe Julian and Lena live lived around here. Lena the, uh... 
or that was Marth speaking, of course. Serana doesn't have any idea who those are. Was, um, yeah, Lena being the priestess. Hmm? Julian and Lena. Allies from the previous war? Yes. I should tell you about them, Serana. Julian and Lena are now working in a convent, taking care of orphans. Makes sense for Lena. Perhaps I'm forgetting Julian's, um, epilogue from the previous game. But, um, don't remember him leaving with Lena. I wonder if they tied the knot yet. <laughs> oh, well, good for them if so. Julian is an ex-thief, and Lena is a very kind cleric. She was quite strong in the end. She also had Hammerin, which was nice. Julian risked his life to rescue Lena, who had been captured by bandits. That was when I met him, met them. All right. Julian, you go ahead. Save yourself. Uh-huh, honey. Uh, or uh-uh, honey. No can do. I didn't betray my boys back there so you could zap me out, zap me on out of here alone. I almost forgot about that. That's right, they were recruited to together. That was a semi... Eh, it wasn't too difficult, I guess. I think someone died on that map. Oh, right. Lena is also, also has an older brother called Mathis. He's apparently in the Macedonian army. How is Mathis doing, I wonder? The Macedonian army? Do you mean that Mathis might be among our enemies? Yes. I'd rather not fight him if I could. I'm sure Katria could recruit him. If we had Julian or Lena with us, we could perhaps persuade him. Or apparently Julian or Lena. Thank you for telling me, game, so I don't have to guess. Let's view the map now. Hmm. I wonder if this uh, bridge is passable in some way. Probably not. Ruffian thief, huh? I don't think it's possible for me to um, get to that village before he could get there. That sucks. Maybe he doesn't go after that village. That'd be nice. Bunch of Draconites. There's General Rook. Yeah, tons of villagers. Villages. Ooh, a Master Seal. My first one, I think. That's nice, and I'll get a Silver Lance. That is wonderful. Pretty standard other than that. Uh, what is Taurus? Strength plus one, defense plus one when held. Nice. I like it. Not on you, though. You should just give it to me. It doesn't look good with you. Bunch of knights and you. Oof. Okay. Yeah, now these Draconites, I can't just send someone north to get the village. Besides which, I think only Marth is capable of getting villages anyways, so... Yeah, I'll have to make my way around the long way. Hopefully he's only after, we'll say, this village, maybe? Oh, hey, Mathis. There you are. How you doing? Skill three, oof. Sorry, buddy. And only seven speed. The nine defense is nice, though. So it looks like your stats aren't particularly um, good at the moment. All right, it looks like we have a bunch of tens and elevens for speed, plus a few nines thrown in there. Um, with that in mind, okay, he's only six. Good. Um, who are we gonna send? Okay, we have six chosen out of nine so far. Obviously, Lind 
Katria, our healer, Militia, Luke and Cecile are all good choices. Fast enough and um, strong enough. And obviously, Land is always going to be with us from here on out. I imagine. Um, and now the question is, who else? Maybe I don't think Rhodey is needed here. With how many um, of the Draconites they have, archers would be really, really nice right now. Drog is capable of surviving uh, not very many of them. Oh shit, Serana's not a requirement. That's interesting. I imagine if I do take her, though, she's not allowed to die. Um, okay, that's 7 out of 9, then. I could take Warren as a future um, horseman, though if I get Wolf, I might not want Warren. Wolf or the other um, really good horseman. At least if their growths are as like they were in the previous game. Still, his speed is better, so that means he has better survivability. Even if he has a harder time hitting. Um, it's not looking like Gordon, or I mean Ryan, is going to be able to catch up to Gordon. In terms of uh, stats. Though he does have the C-rank bows. That is a huge benefit. You shouldn't underestimate that. I also have to consider what the chances of me using an archer long term is. Who isn't a horseman. It would be nice to have someone who can use a longbow. Which makes these two... Tempting. The only real question is which... I could get Ryan up to level 6 to see how he compares to Gordon. But, um... I don't want to waste levels with how many characters there are. It might be best just to say right now that it's, um... That we could go with Gordon. Of course, Ryan has a, uh... A, um... Support of the Serrano already, which is nice. I don't know, I think, um... We'll choose Gordon instead. Of course, that does mean we're not taking Drog with us. Ooh. I'm not sure how I feel about that. He's not fast enough, but, um... He does have defense, and more importantly... He'll never get fast enough if I don't take him out on missions to level him. Of course, people are going to be getting faster and faster. Can he keep up? I'm not so sure. And for this map particularly, um, I think the two archers are much more valuable than Drog is. Yeah, I'm gonna call it. Sorry, Drog. Not for this chapter. Um, not with this many Draconites. That settles that. Now let's just arrange our inventory and get out of here. Alright, I'd say this is good enough. We just need to make sure to get a heal staff. Um, probably another fire as well. And that should be fine. Good day. I'd like to buy some things from you. Let's buy a... First a heal for Militia. Thank you very much. You don't want to overpurchase things in this one. I ended up with way too many heal staffs in the last game. Um, and yes, Serana, take a fire. Excellent. Both cheap items, perfect. Well, not the heal staff, but the fire is. Okay, I think that's everything. We can't access the drill grounds yet. Already did house everyone. Huff! Puff! Where's my... Are you 
huffing and puffing, like pouting, or like you were running? I think running. I think you're literally looking for Marth. Where is my prince, I wonder? Not like huffing, puffing like the big bad wolf, but um... Oh, in this chapter we have to finish in a timely manner to, in order to access the uh, Gaiden chapter, I believe. Um, since we, I think, lost two people in the prologue, unfortunately. Is that Paula? It is Paula. Good to see you. I'd prefer Est, but good to see you too. Julian, good news! Katria finally brought the Altian army for us! Hell yes he did. Or she did. We're going to join their ranks to help save Princess Minerva. I'm glad to see you both. Please, take Lena and escape to safety quickly. No can do, Paula. Lena's disappeared. I'm not leaving by myself. Uh-oh, where is she? One of the villages? What? Lena as well? Princess Maria is missing too. No! Why is it only clerics? <laughs> clerics just disappearing on you, huh? So. That's, uh, that's just... Almost sounds like a joke coming from Paula. Anyway, I'm staying in the village to see if I can't find any information. Okay, so he'll be in that northwest, northeast village. Sorry, Paula. Give my best to Prince Marth. Good to know. Shit, though. Um. That means Paula's in a little bit of danger. Damn, she's level 10. Holy shit. Uh, she's better off than Katria. I guess she always was the older, the eldest sister, wasn't she? 10, 2, 11, 16. 7, 2, 8, 14. Okay. She's doing good. 9, 8, 6. 9, 9, 6. Uh, though, so she is pretty good to start off with, though it looks like she's going to have the same issue as last time where she starts, or she has the lowest growth out of all three, I imagine. Still, wonderful. Okay. So we could try and deal with these guys immediately. That might be for the best. Oh, you know what Paula can do? If he comes over here, he can. she can kill him. Yeah, that's what she'll do. Should have no problem with that. Let's keep an eye on all these damned Draco Knights. Okay, yeah. If I can take him out, or I should... Yeah, I should definitely take these guys that is out this turn. No, um... High, uh, no, uh, ranged, good. Highest attack is 26, okay. Granted, they have, um, a combination of lances and axes, which means if I go swords, I'll have an advantage, the lances will have an advantage. If I go axe, or uh, lances... Or, I mean, if I go axes. No, axes would be optimal, it looks like, but I don't have any. If I, if I go lances, the um, axes will have an advantage. Okay, well, I can... Um, let's see, movement 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Really? Um, weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Who can move to this spot? Oh, that's the. He can move there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So right here would be the better spot. 
No. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can only attack to there. Okay, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoops. Okay, yeah, this is the optimal line we're on. Um, we want a sword and then a lance. Sword lance. Right? Can you survive? 25? Minus 5? 20? No, you can't. Even with your sword. What about uh, against this one? No, you can't. Alright, uh, Cecile, back off. Or go this way. Eh, yeah, just back off. Marth can take this one. Actually, uh, let's move him to take, uh, that one. Right there. Victory bringer, um, what the hell, why not? Luke, on the other hand, can survive the other one. And both of them have 26. Um, but yeah, let's send him. Steel sword, check. Okay. Now for the lances, Katria is an obvious choice. As well as, um, let's see, 26, 26. 10 defense, more than capable of surviving. Iron Lance, sure. Uh, no, Steel Lance. As for you, I only have a few choices left. It looks like it's going to be either Serana or Lind. Which? I'm not sure yet. Who can survive? Four defense. Two defense. 26 minus four. We're looking at 22. Looks like it's gonna be Serana. Shoot. Looks like it's not gonna be Serana. Unless I wanna go back and rearrange all my characters to start out with, which I do. Alright, we are now in proper position this time with Serana ready to do her part. We'll go with Fire instead of Emma, instead of Elfire. I don't want to waste it. Alright, and Paula, go ahead and uh, let me take this guy out. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe Elfire would have been a good choice. Oh well. Another beautiful level. Serana, you are just... Your stat growths are gorgeous. I see what, uh... When I selected beautiful, it's not what I thought they meant, but I'm happy to see... I didn't think they were talking about your stat growths for being beautiful, but I'm glad to see they were. Okay, oh, these... Shit. These three didn't come, huh? That's too bad. And these three are after Paula frickin' hell. How? Looks like, uh... Damn, Paula. Should I... Go back and just have her wait there, maybe? That might be the smarter option. Cause she, while well, she could definitely take one of these out don't think I don't think it's um would be yeah nah see they just do too much damage shoot that was an accident as well I guess I have to now let you start with the silver lance though all right, let's go back. Again. 
All right, we successfully avoided uh, Paula getting targeted this time. And these ones are still moving, though. They're moving down. Um, okay. Looks like... Let's keep an eye on them. Like the... Where's the other? There they are. Um, and let's keep an eye on you three. Alright, Paula. Take him out. 23, you could kill him in one blow. Or... You could just let him have a little fun. Um, We'll go with the... Iron Lance. I don't want to waste the silver. Yeah, screw it. Let's keep you in top shape. You never know what's going to happen. No reason to make you take damage if we don't have to. Okay. Let's see. Tax steel bow 22. Sure, go for it. Good shot there, Warren. As for the other... 25, we'll go 16. Go for it, Gordon. Fantastic. All right, now, Lind, what can you do for me? 19 with Aura. 7 with Thunder. Oof. How much to you? 9. 5 damage. Damn. What I could do is use the Ember. Yeah, why not? Make use of that. Shit. I didn't... <laughs> well, you just uh, made use of that useless tome. God damn it. I appreciate it, but god damn it. Alright, Luke. Mm, good shot. Let's give this kill to Lind. Thunder, 88. Go for it. You're a fantastic mage, Lind. As for you... Let's see, level 9, level 7, level 6. Um, let's see. If I attack him, it's only going to be him who's in range. Which you are more than capable of surviving. I believe. 8, 10. Yeah, you're more than capable of surviving that. But... Let's see. Right, he's not in range, but you are. Um... Wait a minute. I'm looking at the wrong areas. Okay, no, I'm not. It is up there. Okay, could put someone there without them being in danger. Damn, okay, yeah, she can't use the javelin. That's what I was worried about. But you can. But you can't do any damage with it. And that's not enough damage. And they do too much damage to you. Well, you could kill them with the Lady Sword. But I prefer you attack with the Lance if possible. Iron Sword. If I could heal you afterwards, that'd be fine. And then we'll give the kill to you, Cecile. Because I want to get you able to use your javelin. Shoot. Not enough. God damn it. Oh well, that's, um...
Wait a minute. Shit. I guess I do have to make it, uh, Cecile without the, um... Without the Iron Lance, unfortunately. That really sucks. It really, really does suck. But it's also not the end of the world. Shoot, that is the end of the world, though. Yeah, Martha's about to die. Oh, might as well uh, heal you while you can. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to them. Shoot. That's something else I have to be careful of. And I'm also glad I chose to use the silver instead. Come on, just... Holy shit, they're not moving. Lucky me. Lucky me indeed. Now I just need to make sure that, um, she's safe. That should be safe. Let's say like an archer or something, which would be bullshit. Um, so these three don't move at all. Makes sense. I'm surprised they didn't go for the kill, though. They could have gotten it. Keep an eye on you as well. Alright, we're gonna mend Marth. And... We'll put you... Right here, Katria. Can go all the way around. That is no good, and I don't have enough, huh? I think someone's about to die. Yeah, this is a real mess. Do what I can, though. Warren healed as much as he can be. Someone's about to die. Almost guaranteed. Who the hell? McCullis? Wait a minute, didn't I kill you? In the last game? Or did you... Am I misremembering? Did we imprison you? Did we leave you alive? I don't think so. Rook, I'm impressed a spineless coward like you could throw this country into such into so much chaos. I'll hazard a guess that Hardin talked you into this. W you're... But, but how? Thought I was dead. Yes, yes I did. <laughs> My death was but a trifle. Death is a trifle now? Hand Minerva over to me, Rook. I no longer have plans for this country. Do with it as you please. Oh shit, Macaulus. Kalus. You don't care about M uh, Macedon anymore? However, I won't rest until I've disposed of him with my own hands. With, uh, disposed of Marth? You don't like Marth, huh? Uh, but... Princess Minerva is barely breathing. Nobody... What did you do to her? Nobody could save her now. Do you want me to shove this spear down your throat? Ho ho ho. Damn, Michaelis. I said bring her to me. Y yes, of course. S somebody, bring the princess here. What did they do to you, Minerva? It's been a while, Minerva. That ungainly appearance doesn't suit you. 
Losing Maria. Your subordinates abandoning you. Is this the ideal country you dreamed of? Would you want to prove a point to her? That you were right? McCullis, How? How indeed. Yeah, first death. Damn my foolishness. That's my foolishness, not yours. Second death. Or not. Oh, no, yeah, second death. Yes, forgive me, Ryan, not him. And third death. Ah, uh, Princess Nina. Well, let's, um... Call this here, I think. And try again.